Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at how to solve problems that deal with implicit differentiation. So let's just get started into it. Okay, so for this first, for the first problem, um, we are literally asked to find the first derivative and second derivatives and then evaluate them at x equal to three and y equal to two. So let's see how to do that. So this is the function that we're dealing with, right? was five equal to zero. Now we are dealing with implicit differentiation. All you need to do is to take the derivative of both sides with respect to X. So take the derivative of both sides with respect to X. Now you can, because um, we can now separate each of the terms by the derivatives, right? So the derivative operator can now go through each of the terms. Right, using the addition rule of derivatives. This is how we handle such type of problem. Okay. So um, plus d dx of five equal to d dx of zero is zero. Okay. So now you have to find the derivative of this now. Derivative of x square is just two x. Now derivative of y square, um, if you watch the previous video, the link is down below. Um, make sure you go through the through all the videos in this playlist. That would help you to understand some of these things that you see midway through another video. So now d dx of y square because of chain rule, it will be what? 2y will first of all find the derivative of y squared, then we multiply it by derivative of y with respect to x. So that will be y prime. Okay. So anytime you are anytime you're dealing with implicit differentiation, um, when you come to term that you have to find the derivative um, of, of y, you must have an additional term um, y prime multiplying that differentiation, right? And the reason is because we have chain rule in this case. So you can think about differentiating y, y square is another function z that will first of all give you two y multiplied by the derivative of um, y with respect to x, which will be dy dx, okay? Then minus derivative of two x, which is just minus two, then minus derivative of, um, of six y, which would be minus six, what, y prime. Right. Remember again, when you want to find the derivative of a term that has to do with y, y prime will come into into the um, into the frame. So derivative of six y. Think about it this way. Remember, we can take the constant out. We just have this derivative of y, and this is dy dx. Okay. You can see d dx of y is dy dx. So that's how I have minus six y prime, then plus zero equal to zero. So now the rest is just to make y prime subject of formula. So we bring the terms that have y prime together and factorize them together. So y prime, we have two y minus six, then that will be equal to when we take the other terms to the other side. So I take this minus two to the, to the other side, I will also take two x to the other side. So that will become two minus two x. Okay, now I factorize the terms that have to do with y prime, which means I have two y minus six. So bringing these two together, I have two y minus six. Now my y prime is simply easy when I divide both sides by what's two y minus six. So um, we, can, we can simplify for that because two is common to, to the numerator and denominator. I can factorize that out. So my final answer is this. So this is the derivative, this is derivative of what? Um, y with respect to x, but then we are, we are told, we are to, so according to the problem, we have to simplify this at x equal to three and y equal to two, right? At x equal to three and y equal to two, y prime would be what? One minus, one minus three over two minus three. Remember x is three, y is two, and that will give us minus two over minus one which is basically two. So that is y prime. Now we come to the second part, which is to find the second derivative of this function. Now, what happens is we already have every, um, we, we continue the derivative from this 
um, from this um, line where we have the derivative, um, where we took the first derivatives, right, with respect to x. So, which means what we have to do now is, um, so let's bring, the, bring that term here. And this is usually the trick that you use in finding the second derivative. You just continue from this line. Instead of making y prime subject of formula, you just continue from this line. And what you have to do is, again, take this, take another derivative of the expression, of the equation rather, with respect to x, right? And then you come up with um, the same thing, find the derivative of each term and add them together, right? Because of this property that derivative has. Or rather of six y prime, okay? And equal to zero. Okay, now derivative of two x is just two. Derivative of two y, y prime. Now we have to use product rule. So think about this as product of two y and what y prime, right? So you have to use product rule, which means we leave this function multiplied by the derivative of this one, plus we leave the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first one. So um, when we look at this, so, so maybe it's better we do it here. So when we look at this, this is just think about this as your u and your v, and your answer is going to be u v prime plus v u prime, okay? Now, what is u? u is two y, okay? Times v prime, which is derivative of y prime, which is just double prime now. So which is the second derivative of y with respect to x. So because I'm taking the derivative of y prime, it has to be second derivative of the function y with respect to x plus v, which is y prime times derivative of what u derivative of two y is just going to be using chain rule is going to be two. So define the derivative of two y first with respect to y that will be two. Then multiply that with the derivative of y with respect to x. So you have another y prime. Okay. I hope this is making sense so far. So this is what you have to put in here. So two y y prime derivative of that is going to be two y y double prime plus two y prime all square. Okay, then we are done with that. Then we have derivative of two is zero minus zero derivative of six y prime. That will be what? Minus six y double prime. Remember we can take the constant out and it will just be derivative of, first derivative of y with respect to x, which will be second derivative of y with respect to x. So which is what I have here equal to zero. So let's quickly unpack this. So you have two y y prime plus two y prime square minus six y, y, y double prime. Now we need to make y double prime to be our formula again. So which means bring the terms that have y double prime together. That means two y minus six and take every other thing to the other side, which is minus two y prime square minus two. Okay. Now that you are here, y double prime is when you divide this by 2y minus 6. Okay, you can see 2 is common again, so we can just bring um, 2 out. So, in fact, we can just bring minus 2 out so that we have y double prime and y prime square plus 1. Okay, if you like, you can leave the minus inside so that you have minus y prime square minus 1, whatever you, you choose to do. And then um, we have this. So, 2 can cancel again which gives us um, y double prime as what y prime square. Um, so let me just rewrite this correctly. So which will give us minus y prime square plus one all over y minus three. Now, what is, um, remember again, we have to evaluate this um, when, um, x is equal to three, y equal to two. Now, if we've, ever, if we've already evaluated y prime, um, 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 y prime before at this point, and y prime at, um, we got to, right? So we can just remember we've already, when we had x equal to three, y equal to two, y prime is two, and we can just check the, we can just run the video back to see that. So which means y double prime is now minus two square 
plus one all over what is y three um two minus three. So that will give us minus um, five over minus one, which is going to be five. So this is y double prime. So, and that's the end of that particular problem. So let's move to the second one. Now, the second one says, so let's just quickly do this problem here. So for the second problem, um, we have to find the derivative of this, uh, the first derivative. And I think everyone should be able to do this by now. So what you basically have to do is to find the derivative with respect to x of each term. Three y square equal to derivative with respect to x of four. Now, um, what does this give us? Basically, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x plus. Now, this is going to be product rule again because we have 2x times y. So let's just do it here, which means we take this one as the first function u and this one as our second function v. So which means u dv, so which means we leave the first function 2x, we multiply it by the derivative of the second function, derivative of y, right, with respect to x. So that will give us, um, so let me write it in this term now, dy dx. Okay, plus we leave the second term, which is V, which is Y in this case, we multiply by the derivative of what? Um, of two X. So what's the derivative of two X with respect to X that is just two. So make sure you take note of this, how I simplify this. I used, I used product rule and we've treated product rule in this channel before. So just go back to that video, the first, very first video in this particular um, playlist and then go and watch that for how to use product rule. And then finally, the third one, we have to now find derivative of this, um, which is three y square. Like I said, this is gonna be chain rule. Um, how is it chain rule? Because the first function is in terms of y. And then um, from there, we now reach x through y. So that's, that's why it's gonna be chain rule. So the first thing is we have to find the derivative of the external function, which is three y square, which will give us six y. Then we multiply it by the derivative of y with respect to x, because that is the chain rule multiplied by what dy dx. So anytime you're differentiating a term that has y in it, dy dx will come out. Just take note of that. For example, in this, in this case, we did that. When we left 2x, when we differentiated y with respect to x, we got dy dx, okay? So think about that. Anytime you're using, you're doing implicit differentiation and you have a term that you have to differentiate that has y in it, dy dx will show up in that particular term. Okay, now equal to zero. So we can make the y d, um, so let's, ex let's expand this one more time before we, we continue. So this is um, two x plus two x dy dx. Although I could also use y prime. So take note, they are the same thing. Interchangeably, I can use both. Then plus two y plus six y um, dy dx equal to zero. Now make the y dx of our formula. So the y dx, um, the terms that have the y dx is two x and also six y. And that will be equal to taking the other terms to the other side, minus two x minus two y. So therefore, the y dx is just when you divide this term on the right hand side over the term multiplying the y dx. And we can factorize two out again, um, minus two, x plus y all over two x plus three y. So two will cancel out. So your final answer is minus x plus y over x plus three y. So this is the solution to, to that particular problem. Okay. Now the third one, um, so let's just write it down here. So we have x cubed, so the third problem, we have x cubed plus three x y squared plus y cubed equal to eight. And we need to find the y dx. Okay. So how do we approach this the same way? So take d dx of each term. So take d dx of each term. And this gives us three x square. 
Now, this is also going to be product rule again. So the first function is u, and this second function is v. So we leave u, we are using u dv plus v du. So we leave u, multiply it with what derivative of v with respect to x, which is, first of all, what we need to do is to find the derivative of v with respect to y, which is 2y, multiplied by what derivative of y with respect to x, this. So if you remember, I just told you anytime you're differentiated with just, um, a term that has y, um, y prime would show up, right? As you can see, it shows up here again. Plus, we leave v differentiate u, which is just 3, okay? Plus, derivative of y cube, right? So that will be, again, 3y squared multiplied by what? dy dx, right? And that will be equal to derivative of 8, which is 0. So now we can expand um, first, which is 6xy y prime plus 3y square plus 3y square y prime equal to zero. So we can make y prime so a formula again. So bring the terms that have y prime together, as you can see, 6xy plus 3y square, and then um, take the other terms to the other side. Now, finally, the, um, divide both sides by the time multiplying y prime so that you have 6xy plus 3y squared. And again, we can take 3 out because 3 minus 3 is, um, 3 is common. So we take minus, it goes with the sign in front of it. So take minus 3 out. So this is what you have, right? Um, take 3 out here, you have 2, um, 2xy plus y squared. And this gives us x squared plus y squared over, so don't forget minus over 2xy plus y squared. And this is how to solve that problem. So I hope you find this video very useful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and like the video if you did enjoy this particular video. And then comment down below if there's any particular problem that you want, you would like to see on this channel. I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. And I will see you guys in the next video.